Hello, my name is Melanie Adamson. I'm here to speak today about youth leadership and professional development and building strong communities. Youth leadership and professional development is the foundation in building and maintaining strong communities. When talking about leaders and professionals, youth are usually not associated with the two. On a national and global level, our youth is underutilized in building a stronger tomorrow. Through practice-based evidence, we can see how youth leadership and professional development can have an astounding effect on changing the game in positive community building. What is youth leadership? One source says, youth leadership is the practice of teens exercising authority over themselves or others. As a nation, we have seen examples of youth exercising their authority and rights to speak up and speak out as leaders. Examples like the Children's Crusade, Tinker vs. Des, Des Moines, the Chicano Blowouts, and March for Our Lives exemplifies the power youth have in making a positive change in our society. It also shows that one is never too young to lead and make a difference not only for their lives but for generations to come. However, youth leadership should not always have to grow out of such pain. In each of the examples given, the power of youth was shown because they felt unprotected and neglected. What if we develop this power in a more positive environment before disaster hits? Everyone is a leader within their own right. They can choose to use their power in a positive or negative light. Some don't know how to use their power and many times feel powerless. This has proven to be a recipe for disaster. A bully has a potential to be a leader but uses his power to hurt others instead. Psychotherapist Michelle Purcell writes, the bullies feel powerless, weak, and extremely vulnerable internally. In order to protect themselves, they lash out and try to power over others by being manipulative and mean. Examples like school shootings, suicide, and gang violence usually comes from a place of dysfunction and hurt. So again, we see the power of youth being shown out of pain, just in a different manner. Organizations like the National Youth Leadership Council is a place where youth can gain training on how to address issues within their community. By empowering youth to be an asset, they will learn how to use their voice to make a change in their lives and the lives of others. Efforts such as these should be a priority and should be established around the world. If we want to see true change, it begins with our future leaders, our youth. Youth professional development. This is an important aspect of building youth leaders. So many times we want to put youth in one box. It's usually not until their young adult life that we begin to push them to venture into their gifts and talents professionally. Youth activities are more focused around recreational, extracurricular activities to keep them busy, but not to develop them as leaders within their field. Project GAIN is an example of a youth organization that focuses on developing youth ages 3 to 18. The organization uses a three-step process in developing leaders as professionals. One, Youth Take Lead gives youth the tools they need to be leaders and professionals by teaching them basic life leadership, innovation, fellowship, education skills. Two, camp life is all about self-discovery, exploration of options and interests. And three, AMP encourages youth, encourages youth to amplify their gifts and talents by giving them real life, hands-on opportunities to showcase their potentials. This practice-based process has proven to be successful and utilizing the youth to be an asset not only to themselves but to their community as well. By equipping youth with the tools and knowledge they need and giving them hands-on experiences and training, cert certifications, and volunteering to be professionals within their surroundings, Project GAIN utilizes youth to run youth-led programs and activities where youth coordinate and operate positive community initiatives themselves. Novik Djokovic said it well when he said, building a solid foundation in the early lives, early years of a child's life will not only help him or her reach their full potential, but will also result in better societies as a whole. 
Building strong communities should be a concern for us all. Community, this word, is a fundamental part in building youth leaders and professionals. Who are we teaching them to lead if it's not a community of people united with the same common goal? Again, in history, the power of community has shown its greatest potential out of a position of pain. Selma to Montgomery March, 9-11, Project Semicolon, Hurricane Katrina, and Me Too are all, are all great examples of community. But imagine if we show this magnitude of unity, not just when disaster hits. What if we had a community of leaders that showed this amount of compassion toward one another daily? We would have stronger people, families, community, world. If only we could build leaders who had one common goal, to be the best they could be and to help others to do the same. That's why youth leadership and professional development is so important. Before tainted, youth are ingenious, resilient, passionate, and sympathetic, all great characteristics of a leader. The, the future of our communities is dependent on the product that we put out. In order to build and maintain these strong communities, we must develop a culture of empowering youth to be leaders in their homes and community. Employing youth leadership and professional development to build strong communities has gained some momentum over the years. While we are seeing more policies issued and funds being allocated for such efforts, we are still put in a position of being seen. Youth are still put in a position of being seen and not heard. We need, we need more youth sitting at the meeting table in all arenas of addressing issues that affect our communities. Utilizing our youth to create and promote preventative measurements to decrease the problems our communities face will have a great impact influence on our youth community to make the changes needed to have a true effect on the future of our local communities and the world. Thank you.